Hi readers. We are going to have so much fun during today's lesson. Are you ready to get started? Today, we will be doing some interactive writing. Materials. To do this interactive writing, you will need to grab a piece of paper and your pencil. Here are today's two learning targets. I can sort words ending with CK. K. And I can collaborate with my teacher to write a sentence with VC, CVC, CCVC, and high frequency words. Transition song. Sorting words is lots of fun. We make a change to the word run. A different vowel changes run to ran. We find some rhymes like can and tan. Look for words that sound the same. That's how we'll play a sorting game. Word work. We are going to play a game called Sort It Out. To play this game, we will have to look carefully at all the parts of a word. Each of the words we'll look at has the digraph CK at the end. That says K. But each word has a different middle vowel sound. We will look closely at those middle vowel sounds to figure out where to sort each word. Here you'll see the four columns that we will be sorting words into. If there is an A before the K, it says A K. If there is an I, the part is I K I K. O, then the part is A K A K. And if there is a U, then the part says uk, uk. Take a peek at our first word. You might already be tapping it out. The word is b, a, k, back. What column does this word belong in? You've got it. It goes in the ak column. Let's keep going. What is this word? Mm-hmm, s, i, k, sick. And where does it belong? You've got it in the ik column. Let's go. That's right, t, a, k, tuck. And it goes in the uk column. O Ock, lock. Nicely done. And point to the column where it belongs. Mm-hmm. Ock. P, I, K, pick. Where does it go? That's right. In the Ick column. Er, ah. Rock. Point to the column where it belongs. You've got it in the O-C-K column. Just two more. D-U-C-K. Duck. That's right. The word duck has the part uck. And finally, That word has a blend at the beginning. S -o -a -k, slack. And you're right. It belongs in the column with the chunk A C K. Ack. You did an amazing job looking at the vowel sounds and figuring out where each word belongs. Writing. 
We are going to do some interactive writing now and write a whole sentence. So grab your paper and pencil. You have become such a pro at this. Today's sentence is, the duck will kick a rock. Say that with me. The duck will kick a rock. We'll start with the word the. You probably remember that the word the starts with a T. The is the first word in the sentence, so we need that uppercase or capital T at the beginning. Go ahead and add the word the to your paper to start us off. As we keep going, think to yourself, self, what comes after the first word? That's right, we will need to leave a space. You can put your pencil down and tap out the next word with me. The duck, d a k duck. What letter starts the word d duck? Mm-hmm, a D. D, a, you got it, a U. And then what digraph says k after a short vowel? You've got it, a C, K. You can add the word duck to your sentence after you leave a space. Think about each sound as you write the letter that matches. D, a, k, duck. You are on a roll. Our sentence was, the duck will kick a rock. After the word duck, we are going to need to leave another space. You're right. Now, let's write the high frequency word will. It plays fair. W, ill, will. You can go ahead and add the word will. And afterwards, Leave a space before our next word. Remember, that lowercase w is slant down, slant up, slant down, slant up, followed by that i. Pull down and dot, and then two lowercase l's. Starting at the top line, pull down. At the top line, Pull down. Let's read what you have so far on your paper. The duck will. We're halfway done. The next part is kick a rock. Tap out the word kick with me. K, -e -k kick. Kick is another word with that digraph CK at the end. Let's write the word kick after your space. Starting at the top line for that K. Pull down, slant in, slant out. Then add I C K. After the word kick, go ahead and leave a space. And then write the high frequency word A. The duck will kick A. All right, eyes up here, we're almost finished. After the word A, we will need to leave a, a space 
and then let's tap out that word rock because that is what the duck is kicking. Er-aw-k, rock. You'll notice it's another word with that digraph CK. Go ahead and write the word rock, thinking about each sound as you write. Er, ah, k. Last thing, we will need to put a punctuation mark at the end of our sentence. Today we are telling the reader something, so we will need to add a period. Let's check over your sentence. Make sure you have that period at the end and that capital letter T at the beginning. Let's read our whole sentence together, pointing under each word as you read. The duck will kick a rock. Fantastic work writing the whole sentence. Closing reflection. As we were doing our writing today, how did listening for the vowel sound in the word help you with your spelling? That's right, listening to the vowel sound helps us know what vowel to include in the word. Kiss your brain. You are becoming stronger and stronger writers. I look forward to doing some more writing with you in our next lesson.